morning, fans of Privateer FX. CPI today. Uh, so that is going to be the main focus. Let's quickly run through what's going on. G7, dollar yen. Got what we wanted, right? Those resales back between 70 and 90 were filled. Made a new low. We're square now. Um, we took ours back a little bit early. Went down to uh, 106.84. We weren't super convinced <coughs> on the breakthrough 40. I don't know why, but we just weren't. Um, plus, it was 3 a.m. in the morning. So, we're square dollar yen now. Um, we think it's still a reload, but with CPI, you have to just be a little bit more careful. Uh, pretty good chance I think that the CPI is going to come in a bit hot so you could easily go through 108 even up to 10840 on the CPI today so for us we just grab the cash and now we move on we will look to resell between 108 and 10840 um, but that'll be game time dependence cable not really doing too much on the high end of the range basically being pushed around by dollar yen euro dollar the same euro dollar we think uh, is a sell up here um, we should get some consolidation back down towards this uh, 200 hour heading into CPI the parameters aren't, aren't great and the signal isn't super strong so careful on that one but some, some tiny shorts are probably okay uh, in the European session. Dollar Swiss on its knees still traded all the way down to 93.07. No idea. Um, Euro Sterling. You get this pattern here sideways now for basically three months between 86.90 and 89.30 looks like this 89.30 is going to go today uh, or sometime this week you have these highs here at 13 which are very close and then more importantly these highs here which are at 30 you could draw a number of different uh, sort of sexy lines here I guess most people will be drawing this one And when I say most people will be drawing this, the thing with technical analysis is you just kind of want to figure out the patterns that most people are watching. Um, and those are the patterns where the herd will come into play and there's money to be made. So maybe this descending sort of wedge could be it. I think just kind of wait for wait for the European Open, clear through 14, clear through 30, uh, and then you look for this thing to get up there, up to the 90, 30 area. This looks um, looks looks interesting, uh, pattern-wise. And it doesn't really fit too well with this whole dollar higher, dollar lower rates story, but it does fit with the uh, UK is fucked on Brexit story. So... You know, it's always fun to have a story, right? Uh, Aussie yen, all cross yen, of course, lower. Not much to do on this. Euro yen, the next important lows are 130 to the figure, still 60 points away. Got down to 36 today. Dollars are, has not done anything. Zuma's in, he's out, he's in, he's out. We could make some sort of pornographic joke about that, but we won't. Um, let's go to stocks. We had that melt-up scenario yesterday. We still didn't quite get high enough to sell. Um, today will be more uh, more vicious. If we get a hot CPI, rates go higher, stocks go lower. If we get a low CPI, stocks will melt up a bit. But we'll fade this thing. Um, 
you know and what we're looking for now is we have these parameters we've got 2730 and we got 2530 we're looking for like sort of a sideways movement in, in between these 200 handles waiting for the next leg down shorts are still intact uh, Facebook has not come back to that trend line Tesla also Tesla's clawing its way back up um, but we will resell this 338 cryptos higher today but they're not doing much but it does look like uh, we've placed some sort of a bottom reminds me a lot of this go higher here this we go higher here sideways this we go higher here sideways um, we're doing what we said we're gonna do right so you're selling 80 percent of your core which puts your average you know it's gonna put your average right around two bucks right if you're taking a 15 to 20 percent profit on your core selling 80 percent of it um, that puts your notional at a really nice average this is the way we are trading it and we're just following our plan I know this caps the upside I know but this is what we're doing just for safety for psychological reasons for this is the plan so let's follow it all right not a whole lot uh, not a whole lot to say here going into Europe because CPI is really going to be the big driver today. That Euro Sterling setup is, is worth a look. We'll probably play around with that. I wish you guys good luck and I'll see you at the New York Open which will be much more important today. Ciao.